Thank you for joining us today in this video and we're going to talk about frogs and toads, about the life cycle, about the difference between the two, and also dissect them to learn about the different anatomy and parts of frogs and toads. And today I have some helpers with me. First I have Trin. Thank you for joining us. She's actually going to help me today to teach you about frogs and toads and about the anatomy. But I also have some other helpers. Right here I have a bullfrog. On this side we have a toad. And in here, I'll show you in a minute, is a very small tree frog. Before we get into like the specifics of these animals, in particular with what they are and their differences, let's talk about the class they belong to. And what is that, Trent? Um, amphibians. Amphibians, very good. Amphibians mean they both live in land and water. Actually, amphibian means both life. So let's see if we can grab this. Whoops. And they like to jump. As you can see, this is a, this is a bullfrog. And as you can see, this is a little jumper. Now, they may chirp. Doesn't mean I'm hurting them. I am barely holding them. And Trent is a little nervous about this because this is a very fast frog. And so, as you can see here, I'll show you that this is a bullfrog. And sometimes they're green, sometimes they're brown. And this is actually a pretty small bullfrog. So if you look at this bullfrog here, he's, he's kind of scary. He jumps a lot and he's very powerful and very quick. Trent's a little scared of him, but if you could touch his skin, tell me what you feel. Slimy. It's kind of more wet. He lives more in the water more than the toad does. They actually like living in the water a lot more than toads. And if you look, they have really, really strong legs like that. See that? He can actually push. See that? Ew, Whoops. Gross. In my <laughs> and as you can see, these things are very strong. They're hard to hold and they actually can jump really far. What's cool, they can actually jump 12 times or 20 times up to their body length. So they are really fast and they really can move. They really have strong backs to make them swim very good and very powerful. They have shorter legs in the front, which helps to absorb that impact when they jump and their back legs give them that strength to swim in the water. So this is the bullfrog. This is a little bit easier to handle. And if you hear that, that's a male toad. He's chirping and they actually He's nervous, but I am being very gentle. I don't want to scare him. I hold him too long. And as you can see, they do jump, just not as far as the bullfrog. He's so cute. So if you hear that chirping, that's one of his little sounds that they make. And he's scared, and I don't want to scare him too much. But as you can see, Trin, you want to touch? Mm. To feel that skin? Yeah. It's pretty dry, isn't it? But this is a toad. He's actually a lot drier. And these like to live more in the ground. And they do urinate as a sign of defense mechanism. They can excrete things out of their bladder and also out of their skin to kind of ward off people or ward off any kind of predator. So we're going to put the toad back. He stinks. Now this is going to be, now this is the tree frog. The cool thing about the tree frog is they can hang around things, literally. They have suction cups on their hands and they're, Pretty good jumpers, and this is a little one. And if you can see, they stick to you. Oh, it's so precious. Yep. Whoop! They do jump very, very far and can jump from very long distances. And as you can see here, they go pretty far. So another interesting fact about tree frogs is their eyes. And most frogs and toads have this also. Their eyes tend to pop out their head so they can actually see all the way around them. This is to alert them in case someone's trying to eat them, so predators. And so also they can look for bugs and other things they like to eat. And that's one thing we didn't talk about. How do frogs and toads actually eat? Can you tell us a little bit about that? They stick out their um, tongue and then they get the bug yep. with their tongue. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the life cycle of frogs. And with that, Trent's going to help me. So can you please tell us about the life cycle of frogs, Trent? Um, their eggs, then tadpoles, and then they have legs, and then they're a frog. Yeah, that's really good. Good job. A frog's life cycle begins as a fertilized egg. The female frog usually lays eggs in water, and the male frog fertilizes the eggs. Within 2 to 25 days, depending on the water temperature, the eggs hatch into tadpoles. The tadpoles have a tail at first and looks more like a fish than a frog. And as a tadpole develops, it forms gills that allow it to breathe underwater. Then legs start to grow and the tail becomes shorter. The tadpole's gills are replaced with lungs and the total tadpole becomes a frog. The adult frogs then lay their eggs and begin the life cycle all over again. So here's what's an interesting fact. 
Do you know how they breathe, Trent? Through their skin. Through their skin. When they're underwater, they actually absorb oxygen that passes through their skin so they can breathe. And on land, frogs usually take in air through their lungs. So now we're going to talk about the anatomy of frogs. We're going to cut into them and show you the different body parts and how they work. But we're not going to cut these open. We actually have a special way we're going to do this. So let me get these out of the way. Instead of actually destroying the live animals we have, we're not going to do that. We're going to let them go. We use 3D printing technology to do this. And as you can see, this is a frog body with the guts inside that was 3D printed for larger 3D printers. And for people with smaller 3D printers, we actually broke it down and different pieces. So let's just get right into it, Trent. So can you go ahead and hand me a body part or hold it up? And this is, do you know what this is? Um, liver. Yeah, that's correct. It's the liver. The liver releases bile that helps to break down the food in a frog just like it does in your body. Can you go ahead and grab another piece, Trent? Just like in our bodies, the frog's bladder collects and stores urine until it's ready to be released. Can you grab another part? And this is the fat bodies. And in frogs, it stores the food for energy that's used in hibernating and in mating. And in our bodies, we actually store fat in our cells all throughout our body underneath our skin. So grab another piece. So this large piece is actually the intestines, the small and large intestines. And it absorbs food and gets rid of unused food just like in our body. Next is what? Do you know what that is? Nope. So this looks like a frog. A frog. So the triangular piece, the organ that looks like a triangle is actually the heart. And just like your heart, the frog's heart beats and circulates blood throughout its body. And last we have what? And this piece is the stomach. And when a frog eats something, it stores and breaks down the food. Just like when we eat something, our stomach stores and breaks down our food. I hope you learned a little bit about frogs today, the different body parts and what they do, and actually how they kind of relate to your body. So we thank you for watching this video, and I thank you for joining us today and helping me, and stay tuned for more.